All right, guys, welcome to episode 45 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Yo, We're back yo, with yo. another episode, man. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, and all that good shit. Please continue to do that. Hit Thumbs the notification up. bell so that you get the first one notified when we put up a video. But, um, but yeah, man, we're back with some more content. You know what I'm saying? It's late night, but work never stops, bro. It's about 45. one in the morning right now. You 45, know what I'm saying? Number 45. Yeah, we're but up episode there. 45, man. We're doing it. We're getting up there. We're doing we're it, bro. Almost 50. Proud of us, man. We, yeah. We've been staying consistent, dog. And, you know what I mean? We've been trying. Yeah, yeah. trying to make y'all happy, man. We love y'all, man. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with us, vibe with us. And, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate everybody that's been becoming a part of the Dope Talk family, man. For real. Like, all the subscribers and shit. You guys... You guys are the shit, for real. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, for real, for real. But yeah, man. Getting into the first, you know, first topic real quick. There's going to be a new fucking Xbox and a new PlayStation 5 coming out, bro. They both look like, one of them looks like, well, the Xbox actually looks like a, a PC tower. Yeah. You know, it looks like a normal PC. You might as well just call it a, a PC yeah, computer. Yeah, might as well, but. But it's all branded. It's a console. You know? Yeah, it's the console. So, but it looks dope, bro. No, the it PlayStation does. Five looks dope too. The PlayStation Five looks like fucking the yeah. troopers out of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're actually there and shit. Oh, yeah, I, nah, that shit, that shit's dope, bro. Like yeah. I was talking shit. I was like, I don't need it. I got my PS4, but I ain't gonna flex. I might just cop. Oh yeah, I might have to cop too. I've always, I always been an Xbox guy though. <clears throat> right. Always, I've never been a PlayStation guy except for like. You know when we were kids, obviously. You know PlayStation yeah. Two and all that. Right. But when PlayStation Three came out, I was never, I never got it. I just yeah, PlayStation Xbox. Three never got it right, bro. And I think that's that's, that's where they up. lost a lot of people. But yeah, now I've been, I, I've gone back and forth. Like in the last like three, four years, I've had an Xbox, but I always end up finding myself going back to PlayStation Four for whatever reason. Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a PlayStation guy now, but. PlayStations yeah, are cool. Yeah, they yeah, I like good all story of them, mode. Bro. I yeah. like all of them. I'm not one of those guys that's like, oh, fuck Microsoft, I'm Sony. It's like, bro, listen. I'd they're rather all have both. Cool. I'd rather have both. Yeah, like, yeah. I'd, I'd have both. I don't give a fuck. Like, they're all cool. I've had both. Yeah. You know, like, they're all cool, bro. They're all cool. They all have their good and their yeah, bad. They're yeah, pros and their cons. Yeah. But, yeah, I definitely, I definitely have the cop. And there's going to be a lot of niggas out here. You know, kissing baby, kissing baby mama ass, bro, just to get a motherfucking. Facts. They're gonna be, they gonna, they gonna be behaving, bro. They're gonna be fucking. They're gonna be paying they, the bills. They're gonna be scrubbing on their time. feet, fucking hey. changing their oil, fucking you know doing I mean? anything. I mean, shit, you supposed to be doing, but yeah, whatever. I'm on my own business, though. You know what no, I mean? bro, that's up to you. <laughs> but yeah, bro. Another fucking topic that I want to talk about is blunts versus fucking joints, bro. Damn. This was a debate that's been going on amongst stoners f since the beginning of fucking blunts and joints. Yeah, I mean, we all started on blunts. Well, most yeah. of us, you know. Yeah, what most I mean? of us started on blunts. Yeah, but I feel like it, it, it's a kid thing, like it's something that you grow out of. You know what I mean? Like once you start realizing that blunts or tobacco is the same thing as fucking cigarettes, and you become addicted to the actual tobacco leaf and all this other shit, then you like, you know what? Let me just go this way towards this joint. Or some glass, you know? Yeah. Glass pieces are fucking We're always We're not talking amazing. about crystal meth, guys. Yeah, yeah. nah, fuck, yeah, fuck some, that. Yeah. We're talking about, you know, like, bongs, bubblers, uh, bowls, whatever, like, pipes, whatever you yeah, want to call Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, yeah, man. Like, yeah, in my opinion, bro, blunts are dead. And I used to love blunts. I used to love blunts so much, but I can't, I can't even smoke one now, bro. Like, that's yeah, just... Yeah, I tried I smoking smoke one, one the other day, and, I mean, it's cool and all, but, like... Compared like to a joint, like I don't nah, know, like, a joint is so much fucking so, nicer, so much smoother, it's smoother. so much clearer. It's like the on, high is way the, clear. Yeah, on the throat, you know what I mean? Like you, yeah. you, you feel it, and it's 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 smoother. Uh, especially if you're like an average like smoker, like you know, like if you yeah. smoke a lot, like at least four or five blunts a day, yeah, like, you're gonna bad, feel bro. that. No, it, you're gonna feel it. Yeah, you're gonna feel it. In your chest, like you're gonna wheeze sometimes over time, bro. It doesn't. Everything comes over time. Yeah, but you, you know? know what? I heard it's more of like a. It's more of like a new, a new thing, like a, a a new a new smoker thing. Yeah, it's more of a new smoker thing. Like blunts, they've been around, but like guys, older gentlemen that I speak to, like that are like, you know, fifties, sixties. They're like, yeah, man, 
you know, that's more of like a new generation type of thing. Like we, I believe we, it. We, we we're we're growing up on joints. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And not even the raws. Like they don't even like the raws. Yeah, they like the but actual like, papers. Like the white bleach. The white paper. Yeah, yeah. Like the actual white little short bleach ones. I hate those. Yeah, I don't like those. They they're, burn fucking trash. They're, they're trash like, as shit, but I don't know. They spent a couple years in prison, so I don't know what if that's just <laughs> <laughs> if that's it's just what it's all habit. Yeah, you know. <laughs> nah, uh, but yeah, man, I feel like it, it's all up to whether you're, you know, a new smoker, a seasoned smoker, or just somebody that prefers to enjoy the herb in a different way, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's different ways different to enjoy ways. it. Yeah, you enjoy can vape it. it. Honestly, bro, as long as you're smoking herb, I feel like you're doing it right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Stay away from blunts, in yeah, my opinion. The blunts, they're too addicting. Yeah, but, you know, joints... You know, joints are good and everything else, you know, everything else is good. But, yeah, man, it's crazy, bro. We're, we're getting to a different age, my guy. We're getting to a different age. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we growing every day. Yeah, growing every day, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm looking, I'm fucking house hunting, bro. Yeah, man. Crazy yeah. as fuck to even say that shit. I'm He's house hunting. You, you house hunting, you should be on that yeah. TV show. <laughs> <laughs> nah, facts. But dead ass, bro, it's one of those things where it's like, like nowadays oh my god bro like looking for a house is not the same thing that it was 20 30 years ago 40 years ago like why is that because bro like shit went all the way up like like houses are fucking expensive my nigga yeah houses are yeah the money houses are expensive right now yeah like the the money is different nowadays like the Back in the day, it was you know forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars for a house, sixty thousand. and Now it's over a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. It's different. Like times are changing. Yeah, like like facts. it's just, I don't know. Like the value of the dollar is getting less and less. If you think right. about it, so it's 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 weird, you know. And mm-hmm. now they're saying that it's actually going like lower. Like yeah, like recently. Like now it's been going down, bro. But what I'm saying is like. Like, for example, like, my, my mom's from the baby boomer generation. Like, that generation grew up thinking, like, oh, you you know, you go to college, you get a decent job, you get a fucking house, and that's it. It's like, bro, that's not how it works anymore. Back then, houses used to cost fucking five to $10,000. They yeah. cost 100 times that now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They cost fucking 150, 200, inflation. 300,000. It's like, the inflation is crazy. I can't yeah. just go get a regular fucking job, you know. And just do it like that. Like that's you're you're gonna go bankrupt, and that's no, that's yeah. something that I wanted to talk about. Is like a lot of people make a mistake buying the first house because mm-hmm. they they have this illusion in their head and they want to fulfill it. And it's like, bro, you a lot of people over like they buy a house that has too much space. Pretty much, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, yeah, too many rooms. Too many rooms. It's way too big for them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they end up being in debt for a house that they're gonna they end up losing you know what i'm saying like yeah because you bro you gotta know what stage you are in life you know what i'm saying like if you're a single person you have no kids you have you're not married you don't you're you're not even dating anybody like what the fuck is the point of going to buy a four bedroom two bathroom house that has almost three thousand square feet it's like for what for what? Just to oh, have it? I, I might have a family one day. You know I, mean, what I mean, yeah, like, but yeah. when you get to that point, yeah. you know, you get to that point, yeah. and then you look for something. But some. that's how most people think. Yeah, it's like you're rushing for nothing. Yeah, it's like, bro, like me personally, bro, I don't mind getting a nice little fucking two bedroom, one bed bathroom house for myself and my dog. I'm chilling. I don't got to worry about it later on in life. If that's not where I want to live and that's not where I want to be, bro, I fucking sell it. I rent it out, whatever I do, and then I go get what I really want to go get. Yeah. Like, it's just they want to rush. They want to skip the steps. And there's, right. there's steps to this. It's like you, yeah, can't, you can't just, like, take the You're escalate. not going to buy your yeah. dream home in your late 20s, early 30s. Usually, you're not going to be able to afford it. Yeah. And if you are, you bust. But, you know what I mean? But most of us are not really able to afford that. So, if you are, like... Then just take advantage of it and just, you know, do what you now, do. Now, if you, you are, know? bless up, man. Yeah. Salute to you. And, yeah, take advantage of it. Exactly. Yeah. But a, a lot of us don't fun. have that yeah. fucking, that pleasure, bro. That that leisure of being able to go get a $350,000 home at 27. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how that shit that's works. That's not how it works, yeah. And, like, 
Yeah, bro. You just you just got to be mindful of that. If you're looking for your first home, just remember to think about the stage that you're in, like what you really need, not what you want. What you what you need? Yeah. Like, if you yeah. can afford what you want, go do it. But most people can't, and mm-hmm. that's where they fuck up. Yep. And then they end up getting crushed because ten, fifteen years later down the line, they end up losing that house that they worked so hard to keep. Mm-hmm. It's like the bank is gonna take it, man. The bank is gonna get it back. You can't pay it, so they gonna take that bit back. No, bro. Let me that's get a it. fucking fact. Like a repo. That's a fact. But going to on to a next subject, bro. That I wanted to fucking talk about. Mm. What's that? There was a 21-year-old girl. Oh, God. This is getting scary. Showed up to the hospital one day. Wow. She said, Doc. What happened? My stomach won't stop hurting. Oh, God. Cramps. Non-stop. Ooh. Period. Doc's like, that doesn't sound normal. It could be something crazy. We need to do it. I thought it you was know a period. We need to check. We need to check. Nah, the so girl ended happened? up being up pregnant. She didn't even know it. <laughs> she never knew she was fucking pregnant. How do you not know that you're not? How do you not know you're pregnant? That's exactly what I fucking. Was said, she overweight? Bro. Was she big? No, she's a regular fucking size girl. Nah, I think that's bullshit. I think she's fucking lying. What did you think, expect to happen? I think that her family would have disapproved or some shit. <laughs> she's like, I'm not gonna say shit. Jesus, but not that as like that happens. Quite often. Like, I've heard a few stories throughout my life of like, girls, like, not knowing that they're pregnant. That it's like, were overweight. How do you? Nah. I've just... heard of overweight women. Well, yeah, that too. But, nah, I've heard of regular fucking girls that are, you know, yeah, in decent shape not knowing that they were fucking pregnant. That shit makes no fucking sense to me. That Yeah, that's kind of And even weird. if you're overweight, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, what do you, what do, you do? You didn't even plan for it? No baby shower? Like... And your body didn't tell you there was a fucking baby growing inside of it? I don't it? know. Like, that is, it kind of reminds me of the women that just, they don't post their pregnancy throughout Facebook. So right. That, so then, like, they I have like the baby. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they, they don't want no one to know. So yeah, they I like kinda that just, privacy shit, bro. Yeah, Everything yeah. ain't for the world to know, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. dead ass. Like, yeah. Like, I, I, everybody wants to have a fucking phone in their face. Like, while oh, they're giving, look, like, look, bro. She moved. Like, you no one really cares about the baby. Bro, bro. To Listen, be real, like no, we, uh, like uh, when they get to school, we'll see how smart they are. Yeah, don't, like, don't overhype your kid. We don't care. <laughs> if we don't care how big your bump is. No, no, bro. No, we don't. That, that's keep a that fact. for the keep that for the wall. Facts. You know what I mean? Keep at your it house. for the memories. Yeah. The book of fucking pictures. Yeah. Every Hispanic. You know, have you ever noticed that like every Hispanic house? Has like a book this fucking thick of just pictures. Yeah, I know of like years Everybody. like old, like dusty. You're like this was your fucking great uncle <laughs> fucking Tim. Yo, this was Theo <laughs> Chapo. You know he this was. This is fucking <laughs> Theo Pablo over here. And Papo, you know, you know what I mean? Nah, fucking... <laughs> bro. It really surprises me that like, bro, cocaine is still a thing, like to this what day. What do you mean, bro? That shit's always gonna be a thing. Like I'm talking about seventy year olds and shit. Like, oh yeah. Like I got family members that are like seventy plus and they still do cocaine. I mean How is your heart still drugs even? is drugs. God damn. I mean you be <laughs> right, you become immune to it like anything else. You build yeah. a tolerance for it. That's crazy to me. Yeah, yeah, you build a fucking tolerance for it, bro. That's wild. Yeah, no, nah, but I, drugs are drugs, bro. That's always gonna be around. If it ain't coke, it's something else. Yeah. Like, you know, I went from like heroin to cocaine and then to like pills and then like not like lean and you yeah. know what i mean like what the fuck who knows what's gonna be next i feel like a lot of people are just trying different drugs and doing drugs because there ain't really shit going on in the world right now i feel like people just like to do drugs yeah <laughs> and they've too. always liked to do drugs yeah like always bro drugs are a part of human history from the beginning like, yeah as soon as people started finding out different fucking plants and different shit, <laughs> they started trying to started mashing stuff. shit together, and then they fucking went on a trip. They're like, "Yo, the sap from this tree over here just fucked yeah, me up." Yeah, there's some shit like that, man. Across Not for real. The, it's, it's, it's there's wild. honey, bro. There's honey that's um, it's psychedelic. Yeah, you eat enough of it, and it's like it's like taking LSD, but it's completely natural. Even frogs. Yeah, I, heard about I wouldn't that. do that though. Nah, I'd eat I the honey though. The nah. honey sounds good. I'll make me a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. I'll make me a little smoothie. You yeah, know, I feel nice. You Facts. know what I mean? I'll yeah, probably, man. I'll probably turn it into a little fucking, 
a little wax candle. Mm-hmm. I don't know, something nice. Something, something clean, something, something smooth. cool, man. Um, but yeah, I try not to to take any pills or anything like that. I'll try some natural shit all day. Yeah, yeah. nah, bro. I I've come across the opportunity of doing pills a couple times in my life. Um, once when I was young, I tried it. Tried uh, Perk Thirties. Never again in my fucking life. Yeah. Uh, after that. I went to the hospital for like you know like certain injuries and shit that tried to put me on some pills. I wasn't with it. Yeah. Wasn't fucking with it. And yeah. I told my doctor I was just gonna smoke weed. Pretty much. Not that ass. Yeah, and they're okay with it nowadays if you just tell them like, hey. Like, I mean, they're never okay with it. Yeah. Like they'll still advise you not to do it, but they're like. Well, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Like, yeah, it's not like you're fucking doing heroin or something. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. I mean. To be honest with you, most of the pills have heroin in it that they give you. Yeah, they have opioids. All of that shit has the same, like, core Mm -hmm. chemicals, like, in it for all of it. And if it's a prescription, like, why do they call it a prescription? You know what I mean? Like, it's... Yeah, it's supposed to cure something, not maintain the fucking sickness. And, like, you have to keep fucking doing that shit for life. And that's something that'll fuck people up. People take pills for high blood pressure. People take pills for this, for that. That's maintenance. Things that look like, you know, it's not bad. But, bro, every time you take pills, like, your liver bleeds a little bit. It's not, like, your body reacts a certain way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, those pills don't belong in your body. Those chemicals that break down and run through your bloodstream don't belong there. And then a lot drinking. of them don't. And Some then... of them have natural shit in it. Yeah. But a lot of those chemicals, bro, they ain't supposed to be in your bloodstream. Imagine you drinking, too. Because most people drink. And they yeah, mix most it. people do. You know? And there was there was a girl that I dated, That's man. horrible, bro. Yeah. There was a girl that I dated. She, uh, the night ended up really bad, man. It was mm-hmm. It started really good. But, you know, she started taking pills, you know, and stuff like that and mixing it with the alcohol. And, man, it just, it went downhill, bro. Yeah, no, nah, that's that, never good, Yeah, bro. so I had to tuck her in and say, hey, have a good night. <sighs> nah, there's, yeah. that shit, you could die from that shit, bro. Like, yeah, I don't want to That's really that, why they tell you, like, bro, you're mixing alcohol and then, like, that shit could stop your heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that shit's I, I get cool. it. I get it. Once in a while, like, cool. Like, that's cool. Like, do your thing. Nah. But, like. To, to to be addicted to it to 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 do it every day and you have to and you need it like that's that's but that's, that's the thing that's bro really bad. I feel like that statement that you just said is like oh if you do it every once in a while it's like I feel like that with weed if you do weed every once in a while it's cool you're not whatever yeah. but there's things out there that it doesn't matter bro yeah you try that shit one time and you're addicted to it yeah and that's how it happens you know what I'm too. saying yeah. it's like. Yeah. That's how it is. It just happens. Some, everybody's different, though. Like, there's some That's people that are strong-minded that are able to nah, just, facts. you know, maybe do it once a year or some shit like that. You nah, don't know. Facts. Like, we've talked about yeah. it on here before, bro. We've done we've done yeah. drugs before, and yeah. it's like, you don't see us hook strung out at fucking, yeah. you know, on the corner fucking asking for a hit. Like, nah. It's all about, like, figuring out that it's a stage. Yeah, and it's not for you. Like, there's different... There's different stages for different ages. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's bars. Different stages for different ages. Look Take that. that with y'all. Yep. But Levels. Nah, for real though. Like, like you know, 19, 20, 21, you're like, fuck it, I'm out here partying, I'm doing Molly, I'm doing LSD, whatever, acid, whatever it is that you're into, Yeah. pills, it's like you're... You, bro, you don't know what the fuck you're doing in your life. Yeah, you don't. You just got thrusted into the fucking world... After 12 years of being told what to do every fucking day. Yep. Deadass. You, now you're out here, you, you're just partying. Yeah. But it's like, once you grow out of that, bro, it's like, bro, like, come on, dog. Like, yeah, it's like, you gotta learn. <laughs> you gotta learn. You gotta know when to stop. Yeah. So, that's just how it is. You gotta know what's for you, bro. You gotta know what'll fuck your body up, <clears throat> what won't. Yeah. What you could tolerate. Because let's be real, bro. There's people out here that do, you know, harder drugs and... They live a relatively normal life. They go to work. They take care of their shit. Yeah. They just so happen to do harder drugs. And then there's other people that see those people. They're like, oh, well, they do fucking cocaine every weekend. I could do cocaine and my life would be straight. Mm-hmm. And then they fuck their life up because everybody's different. Like your yeah. body will become addicted to it way more and you'll be way more more weak to it mind you know with your mind than and, that other person and there's there's a lot more of the drugs like i'm not even talking about like you know zannies and perks like i'm talking about plan b 
I'm talking about a lot of stuff that women be using to, you know, put in their bodies to, you know, nah, not facts. to prevent them from having a baby. Like, that shit I had a conversation. Natural, yeah. bro. Shit, it, bro, and the thing is, a lot, a lot of that stuff fucks up their hormones. It'll fuck up their sex drive. Yeah, everything. It'll fuck up their mood. It'll fuck up their, their you know, organs. They'll get depressed. Yeah, their organs will slowly start taking a hit from it. Like, yeah. there's a lot of different things that come with that. Like, I mean... In my opinion, bro, a woman could do with her body what she wants to do. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's her that. body, bro. Yep. She could do what she wants to do with it. I but I just don't see the point in it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. Like there's I different get it. ways to be careful. I get it. Once you know? in the blue it slips, like, oh shit, condom breaks, you wanna be responsible. Yeah, that's cool. Right. But to do it every single time and do it just because you know you wanna that have raw sex. Horrible for yeah, your that's body, really bro. bad. That's not good. And I, I know some people that do that and it's mm-hmm. not good. I used to do it. No, nah, yeah. You know what never, I mean? Like, like yeah. Come on, bro. We all done it. I can't sit here and point fingers because I used to do it. I've driven a girl through the fucking but I didn't pharmacy know. Pharmacy drive through. I didn't know. A, I didn't know, know how bad that pill was for. Yeah, for, me. Your I kid, bro. All you know is, damn, we fucked up. Uh, let's go get this pill. Like yeah. I know about. That's all you know. You don't yeah. know that. That's horrible for that fucking girl's body, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. That like for the next six months, like she's gonna be fighting that shit, and you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that shit's not fucking good for her. Yeah, it makes me nauseous. Yeah, bro. It's that's gross. just not good for her. It's gross. But, hey, man, that's technology, and that's fucking medicine for you, bro. That's yeah. where we got into. That's where yeah. we got into with this shit. But, yeah. but yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us, liking, sharing, subscribing, and hand that notification bell to know when, when we drop a video. But, um, yeah, once again, we appreciate the Dope Talk family. It's growing. We're at 400-something subscribers, almost to 500. Don't remember, at 1,000, we're going to have a giveaway. And, um, yeah, man, we love y'all. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Peace.